it all started 6,000 years ago when ancient Britons built a burial chamber on this hill, then over the next 2,000 years, they added a stone circle and a cemetery marked by the King's Stone. Clearly, Rollwright has been a special place to different peoples over thousands and thousands of years. So it's hardly surprising it's become a magnet for myths and legends about its origins. The most famous of all, the Rollwright Witch. Long ago, a king and his army set out to conquer England. When they met a witch on the hill above the village of Long Compton. The witch turned the king and his men to stone. So the king is the solitary King Stone. His knights are the Whispering Knights. And the king's men are the Stone Circle. Petrifying, literally. And tales of witchcraft seem to be just as much part of this place as the stones themselves. Just down the hill from the Rollwright Stones is the village of Long Compton. Home to just 764 people, it's more than a thousand years old. There are stories of dark magic. In fact, part of the village is known as Witch End. All this belief in witches may just seem like a bit of fun, but it's not, because not so long ago, it led to a horrific murder. Records of this grisly crime are held here in the Warwickshire County Records Office. OK, this is a newspaper, the Oxford Journal, and it dates from Saturday, September the 25th, 1875. And at the bottom of page seven, there's a small article, Murder at Long Compton. The victim is an old woman called Anne Tennant. She's coming back from the bakery carrying a loaf when a man runs over the road, James Hayward, and he stabs her repeatedly with a pitchfork. On being taken into custody, the prisoner said, I hope she's dead. She was an old witch. There are 15 more in the village. I'll serve the same. I mean to kill them all. Now, you can dismiss that as the ravings of a madman, but number one, it was apparently considered the norm to finish off witches with pitchforks. And here, there's a letter written in 1928 by the son of one of the witnesses of that original crime. He says, Jim Hayward killed Nanny Tennant as she had bewitched him. And he carries on to describe other women in the village. Granny Faulkner was a witch. And he describes how Granny Faulkner can transform herself into a hare. And then someone shoots the hare and it means that Granny Faulkner can't sit down for a few weeks later. It could be bonkers. But this is 1928, and the good people of Long Compton still believe in witches. 